I just see. Yeah, I thought I'd just give a bit of context into my setup here, so that what I'm going to share about the hydrogen peroxide might make sense. Uh, so these are two 5,000 liter tanks, and I've got a pump here at the bottom. They're linked, so that I don't have one running empty, and then the next they do dual. And then uh, that's the three that I have. The filters. I think it's two cloth filters and one carbon filter. And then I have um, little shutter valves on the side here so that if I use the municipal water, I shut it off here and then open the municipal water. But it feeds into, into my system. Um, now I'm just going to show you the, the hydrogen peroxide. So I think the key thing with the hydrogen peroxide is to get a percentage of 7% for the tanks. Now, I usually been ordering 3% from these companies, um, and the 3%, you know, I use for humidifiers, I use it for my earwax cleaning out, mouth rinse, and that sort of stuff, but the 35% uh, is the one that these guys sell. I'll send you the, the email address and their contact details. I ordered it online. I ordered 35%, but one of the things that... Uh, I really got to sort of caution against is getting any of the 35% onto your body in any way because it's very potent, extremely strong. I got a little bit on my finger and it started burning. The skin started turning white. I, I washed it off with some LDC and then kept it in water for 5-10 minutes sort of rubbing it and then it came all okay. But just don't get any of this onto your hand, the 35%. And I've labeled it here as 35% food grade, and I put this big notice on here. Now, it didn't come in this 5 liter. It came in two, two and a half liters. So what I did is, and this these containers are from the previous uh, company that I ordered. So I had these empty containers. These are 5 liter containers. So I put in here the... That made up five liters of the 35% food grade and then I took one liter from here and put it in the five liter container and topped it up with water and when you do that one is to four dilution it's going to give you the seven percent I'll also send you the whole list of percentage um, dilutions uh, there's a website that I got it from so if you want to take 35% food grade down to 3%, I think it's 1 to 10 dilution, but you can see there 1 liter of this versus the rest. Okay, so getting from 35% down to 7%, it's 1 liter of that with 4 liters of water and then you've got 7%. Then um, they recommend that you use 200 milliliters of 7% per 1000 liters of water, okay? So, 200 mils of 7% per 1,000 liters of water. So, because I've got in the one tank 5,000 liters, I take 200 times 5, and it gets me to a liter. So, if both my tanks are full, that's 10,000 liters, then I pretty much put 2 liters of this 7% dilution in. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. The, the main thing that I'm quite sort of anxious about when I tell people to use this is that they must use food grade, not uh, anything else. So it's got to be stuff that would be used in, you know, kitchens and surfaces and that sort of stuff. And anything that comes in contact with the body must be food grade and the 35% not to touch your skin or any part of your body until it's diluted. I haven't got any of the 7% touching my skin in any way, so I, I don't know how it will react. As I said, when I take it right down to 3%, I use that as drops in my ear for my earwax and uh, a few other stuff. Okay, but this is the goal you want to get to, the 7%. Okay, so hopefully that helps you. If you have any questions, then just send them in the, in the message chat thing, and then I'll be able to assist with that. Thanks very much, dear. Hope this helps you.